Hey guys, Dr. Dobson. Uh, we're going to be doing a 1-2 cantilever bridge in this case. Um, this is a patient that fractured their 1-2. The tooth had a root canal and a post and actually quite a large infective lesion at the apex. Here's an x-ray. Um, and they presented and they said that they're missing a front tooth and they want it back as soon as possible. So um, options are to either do an immediate implant which i'm generally not comfortable with especially immediate loading implant especially if there's a lesion uh, you could also do a conventional bridge where you have to cut away the central and the canine um, or you could do a maryland bridge which is um, one of the options that we were closely considering but in the end we decided to do a one three cantilever one two pontic so we'll go over that uh, in this video here's some footage of the case. Uh, this is the CAD uh, design and then we're going to go over the manufacturing. Uh, this is the uh, milling of the unit and then there it is sintered and then we'll bond it in the mouth. Um, so yeah, this is the case. Um, I actually didn't record the um, extraction or the prep but we did the exo and the prep in the same appointment so had the patient in froze extracted the one two prepped the one three took a scan and then actually this was a next day case so it was ready to insert um, the following day uh, which is one of the advantages of having a, a milling machine in-house uh, but here's the scan so it's the one two is extracted and the one three was prepped we did it all in the same appointment so you can see the socket um, is as it scanned uh, immediately post-operatively. Had a good um, 1, 1.5 millimeters of clearance at its uh, thinnest point. There's the clearance map. Um, so lots of clearance uh, for um, dura structural durability. And then there's the unit um, in the ExoCAD. Uh, and this is going to have lots of strength. Uh, the canine has lots of uh, root anchorage, so it's not asking too much of the canine tooth, and it's just a nice, quick and easy solution for a case like this. Here's the unit uh, in uh, mill box before we mill it out, and then uh, it's about a hour or so milling job. There's the mill at work. So it'll mill out, we'll give it an hour, we'll come back, we will cut it out of the block. Here's the, the block uh, right after milling. So we'll desprue it uh, and then uh, we'll put it in the furnace overnight, about eight hours, and then we'll give it a polish with these um, ceramic polishers on the uh, lab hand piece. And there's two steps. The second one is for the fine polishing. And then it's going to be ready to go. We'll get the patient back the next day. Um, we temporize this case, so we'll flick the temp off. There's the macro of the unit there. Um, would have tried it in, must have had a tight contact, so we're actually going to take a flame and um, relieve the 1-4 a little bit. And then once we're happy with the interproximal contact, we'll check the bite and all that, and then we'll... Get ready to bond it in place. Check in the contact one more time here. You don't want it too tight, otherwise it's not going to seat correctly. And we're probably going to give a little bit of relief for the bite. So we'll take the unit out, uh, rinse dry, apply some um, IvoClean, rinse dry again, apply some ceramic primer, which is optional. Um, but since the 1-2 is going to be putting a little more stress on the tooth, we figured that we would do all the extra bonding, optional bonding steps. Generally for single unit crowns, I won't uh, use a ceramic or a tooth primer, but use the ceramic primer and the tooth primer in this case. Uh, this is the following day. Uh, so we'll pumice the canine tooth once we are satisfied with the unit and we'll give it a little prime as well with some tooth primer. The, uh, the extraction socket is going to remodel and shrink down a little bit, which is something that we'll tell the patient. Um, most of the time, uh, we'll say that after three months, we can remake the unit uh, so that it doesn't have a gap under it, which often forms after time has passed uh, from the extraction healing. Um, but oftentimes they say that's not, not a big deal. So um, that's just an option that we give anyway. Yeah, that's um, go. So we'll yeah. prime the tooth and then load we'll up load up the, uh, the unit know. with... Um, so I got some of that primer there. Um, uh, resin cement, we'll seat it down, cure it, clean it up, and then that one's going to be 
ready to go. I don't have any concerns about debonding or fracture. There's uh, immediately post-op and then there's uh, before and after. So that's going to work just fine.